you can see that we're building on a full foundation here. And a lot of people have asked us like, well, why not just build a stud wall on here? Why bother doing post and beam frame building when you already have a foundation? One of the main reasons is just the structural strength of a post and beam building and the connection, the solid connection all the way from the foundation up. So you can see right here, we've got an epoxied in saddle. There's six GRKs in each side. Those are the GRK structural screws that are going into this post, connecting it to that saddle. There's gonna be a beam on top of that post that's gonna be also attached with structural screws. So there's no way that there, this can ever pull out or move because of how solid those connections are. And then the trusses, of course, are attached with uh, Simpson hardware that connects the trusses to the beam. So again, another structural connection. Now, if you had a stud wall on here, you're gonna have a bottom plate. That's gonna be attached to the foundation and your studs would typically be end nailed into that. And then you'd build your wall and then you'd have a top plate that would be end nailed again on top of the studs. So those two connections, the bottom plate's connected well to the foundation and the trusses are connected well to the top plate, but it's the in-between. So you've got end nails into the studs. That's actually a weak point those uh, studs could still pull off those nails or the top plates could pull off of the top of the stud because it's just those nails that are connecting it. Post and beam framing, you know you have a solid connection all the way up. The stud wall, then the engineer's gonna have to put hold downs in the wall anyway, which is basically like a post that's connected. Otherwise, you have that weak point at either end of the studs.